Hi everybody, welcome to this video that's going to take you through the applications and admissions process for Prince Henry's Sixth Form. Uh, my name is Claire Willis, I'm the Assistant Head Teacher in charge of Post 16. OK, so to start with, our approach to sixth form is very much to give each individual the best chance to achieve their goals for the future, whatever those goals might be. And we try to offer a bespoke guidance service designed specifically for our students that will help them make those right choices about what they need to do for their next steps for the future. Um, we also look with students at their personal development opportunities um, so that we can enhance future job and career prospects during the time at Prince Henry's uh, so that everyone has the best chance to develop and grow their skill set, be that in terms of their formal qualifications, but also all of the informal things that we can offer as well that, that surround that. OK, so thinking about that, in terms of our entry policy, each applicant is, is definitely considered individually on their merits. But you need to think when you're applying, if you're good at exams, then you're probably best suited to those courses where you're assessed mainly by exams. If you struggle under drug exam condition, then you may want to choose courses uh, where you've got more coursework and fewer exams to help you out with that or a combination of the two which can ease the pressure when it comes to to the final exam situation so it's worth thinking about you as a learner as well as the qualifications that we offer. Okay, So for our academic A-level qualifications, uh, the basic requirements are an average GCSE grade of four or higher. Okay, um, Now that might mean that you come in with fours in everything, or it may mean, and for a lot of people it's more like this, that there are some things that, that you're very good at and some things that you're less good at, and so the grade profile can be a little bit wobblier. And we want to take that into account um, when we're looking at your ability to carry on to study certain subjects at A level. So it's going to be um, the average GCSE grade rather than a set number at a certain grade for us at Prince Henry's. However, having said that, for courses with a large coursework element, and that is largely our BTECs, our Cambridge Technicals, um, our Applied General Qualifications, but also sometimes we, we look at um, subjects that involve a certain amount of, of talent in the subject like art and photography under this um, category. There we want at least four GCSE passes at grade four or above, preferably including maths and English. Um, although you can resit GCSE maths and English at Prince Henry's, those are the two subjects that we do offer GCSE resits in. But ideally, get your fours in those um, to be able to help you progress because it make life, makes life a lot easier when you come into sixth form. OK, as well as those basic requirements, which are the sort of gateway requirements for getting through the door, we've also got subject specific requirements. And if you look at the course leaflets on the website or the ones that you pick up at open evening uh, for each individual course, it will talk about the subject specific requirements. So once you've met that sort of entry baseline of either the average of the grade four or at least four subjects at grade four or higher, then you need to main, mate those specific um, requirements for each subject. And that may well mean a grade five in that subject or even a higher grade than that in different subjects. We, we have different entry requirements for each specific subject because they each require um, a, a different baseline in that subject before you press on, progress on to a higher level. Um, and some of our subjects, obviously there are some that you might not have studied at GCSE, uh, there are some that you, you perhaps couldn't have studied at GCSE. And so for those sorts of subjects that you won't have studied before, things like economics or sociology and those sorts of things, um, we ask for uh, general performance in, in different subjects that give us an indicator like maths or English. Um, for subjects like psychology, we look at your maths, your English and your science grades because psychology involves quite a lot of science as well as um, the, the English and the maths side of things. And so make sure you look at those course leaflets carefully to work out what the entry requirements are for the particular subject as well as those general ones. OK, so key things that you need to know. Most students at Prince Henry's take three A-levels and those are studied over two years. We don't offer AS as a matter of course. Um, 
in a lot of subjects, AS is no longer available, um, but also we want to see these as two year courses that you study for two years. You take the exams at the end of the two years and we don't interrupt that with external exams midway through. The only exception to that might be um, some of the BTEC and vocational courses, which are still structured to have exams at different points across the two years. But even with those courses, they're taught over two years so that you have to complete the full two years to complete the course. Um, there is an opportunity for the most able students to select four A-levels if they wish to. Um, no university anymore has that as a requirement. Three A-levels is the standard requirement for university. Um, and sometimes it's worth considering whether four A levels is the right route or whether doing three A levels really well and having an additional enrichment course like the EPQ, the extended project qualification or core maths would be the better route. What we do tend to sometimes allow is where students really can't decide which three out of the four they want to do. If we've got space in the courses, then we'll allow them to start with four at the beginning of term in year 12 and make a decision a few weeks in just to, to make sure it's the right decision about which three that they're going to focus on. Um, the BTEC and vocational courses that we offer at Prince Henry's are a lot more rigorous than they used to be and they're accepted by almost every university depending on the subject and the course. Uh, the only two universities I know that don't accept BTECs are Oxford and Cambridge. Everywhere else will accept them, particularly in the way that we do them, where you do a BTEC that counts as a single A-level qualification um, in combination with other A-levels. Um, so it's not as if you're doing sort of all your eggs in one basket, just one course that counts for your three qualifications. Here at Prince Henry's, we do BTEC courses that count for one, or in the case of BTEC Sport, two A-levels. Um, but those are mixed with other A-level qualifications. And so universities are generally very happy to take that mix. Um, OK, in terms of next steps and things that we do to support students, we've got different pathways that students are able to self-select their way onto and they attract different types of support as you go through the two years. So we've got our professional academic pathway and our Oxford academic pathway um, who are people who've achieved highly at GCSE or who want to go into those medical vocational professions um, and there we start working with you quite early on to identify the things that you're going to need to do across those two years to have a successful application. Uh, we also have a sports professional pathway which is in conjunction with our elite sport and education program and if you're interested in that either go to the presentation on open evening or speak to, to a member of the PE staff and they'll explain a little bit more about that to you. Um, and then we've got vocational pathways for students who are looking to go from A level straight into apprenticeships or employment and our open options pathway which is students who are sort of keeping them well it does what it says really who are keeping their options open who might look at higher education but not one of the sort of um, vocational medical pathways um, or they might look at degree apprenticeships um, and in other things. So most of our students fall into the open options pathway um, and there's different levels of support offered at different times during the year, depending on what's appropriate for each of those groups of students. In terms of the application process, our application forms on the website um, and for Prince Henry students, we'd like you to fill that in before the end of term if possible. And that just helps us with our planning for the interviews for, for after Christmas. For students from other schools, the deadline is the 31st of January uh, 2022 and students will be contacted for interview during the course of the spring term. Um, for more information about admissions and applications, you've got the prospectus pack, which can be found online, or if you're coming to open evening, you can pick that up on the night. Um, obviously, the sixth form section of the school website has got a lot of detail about the courses that we offer. Um, you've also got the presentations on open evening from the different subjects about what that subject involves. Uh, for Prince Henry students, there are taster lessons in the next PSHE day in November that you can opt for. 
and for all students, whether you're Prince Henry's or a different school, uh, we're offering a Saturday taster morning, hopefully on the 15th of January, um, which will allow you to um, book on and come and try some of the lessons to explore what you might be interested in. OK, so if you're interested in that and you're not a Prince Henry student, um, then if you email the info address on the screen, then they will put you, add you to a list and we'll make sure that you get the information about the Saturday Taster Morning. OK, so I hope this has been useful for you to find out a little bit about Prince Henry's. I will leave you with this quote from one of our, one of our former Year 13 students. The students at Prince Henry's like being here by and large. They enjoy their time in sixth form um, and we try hard to look after them, treat them as individuals and make sure that we, we help them achieve their aspirations and their goals. So I hope if you come into open evening you'll be able to find out a little bit more about the subjects. Um, Miss Sheriff's video will explain to you a little bit more about our ethos and hopefully you'll be able to have a look also at the student tour and the introduction from our head students to get more of a feel for Prince Henry's as well. Okay, thanks very much.